We present a new method to track the skeletal motion and detailed surface geometry of one or more actors from footage recorded with only a simple low baseline stereo rig. Our approach exploits full BRDF and illumination information and works in uncontrolled environments with moving cameras and even with highly specular materials. We show results that were previously only possible with complicated studio setups consisting of 10 or more cameras and controlled lighting. In the following we explain our capture approach in more detail. A template model of each actor is generated, consisting of a laser scan and a reflectance texture, estimated with a lightweight capture system. Using a robust scene flow method, correspondences and depth maps are calculated for each stereo frame. An MRF-based foreground segmentation, based on color and geometry, is used to separate the actors from the background. In the next step, the skeletal motion of the templates is estimated using shading, depth and silhouette information. Finally, the geometry is refined based on a full BRDF model, generating detailed, spatiotemporally coherent mesh sequences. In the following we will show more results. This example shows one input video of a dancing sequence and a reconstructed geometry. Here we overlay the geometry on the original video to highlight the accuracy. In this sequence we evaluate the importance of using all steps of our pipeline to create correct tracking results. Using only parts of the pipeline the tracking fails after a short while. The second comparison shows how a recent tracker fails on the same challenging dataset, while our method estimates the correct pose. A raw stereo reconstruction of the scene is less accurate than our reconstruction and is not spatiotemporally coherent. We demonstrate how a binocular surface tracker, recently proposed for facial performance capture, fails on highly articulated motion. We highlight the failure case of our method. Here, one side of the actor turns away from the stereo rig, leading to an erroneous tracking result for the occluded limbs. This can be seen in the visualized mesh on the right. The following sequences will show some textured fly-arounds of the background and our reconstructed geometry. Finally, we show some examples of simple scene editing tools which are enabled by our method.